Hello there. This is Judy. And today I am going to read passages from the Bible. As some of you have asked me to do this. And I'm very happy. And I would like to thank you for asking me this. Because the book, this is a book of life, and it always makes me happy to read it and meditate on it and give me insight of how I will improve my life. And so I would like to read you these readings, today's readings, and I will also tell you what comes to my mind and what God has put in my spirit. It might not be applicable to you, but I hope you will like it. I love talking about what the Lord has given us in the book of life. The first reading is from the book of the prophet Ezekiel. <clears throat> Thus says the Lord God, O oh, my people, I will open your graves and have you rise from them and bring you back to the land of Israel. Then you shall know that I am the Lord. When I open your graves and have you rise from them, O oh my people, I will put my spirit in you that you may live and I will settle you upon your land. Thus you shall know that I am the Lord. I have promised and I will do it, says the Lord. This is so awesome because the graves is the difficulties, the hardships, the things that we encounter in our daily life that are so hard for us to bear or to think about. The different things that pertains to our daily life that gives us so much worries, so much pain, and so sometimes it hurts so much that we do not know what to do. But when we go to the Lord and ask for help, He will come and help us. As He has says in here, when I open your graves and have you rise from them, O oh my people, I will put my spirit in you that you may live. So when we ask Him, His own Spirit comes into our life and we will live again. We will have so much consolation. We will have so much joy. Things will happen. Things will get better. And I can tell you because I have experienced a lot a lot in my life that happened in the past. One instance was this. I have five children. I had a home wherein I pay mortgage every month. I have a car to pay. And monthly expenses 
utilities to be paid when I lost my job my husband business went down we are in dire need I was in my unemployment insurance and it was not enough five children So I went to the Lord. I said, Lord, this is what is happening in my life. Where will my food come from? I have five children. And there's nothing I can do. And so I said, this week, I don't have any food for the children. I just put everything in your hands, Lord. You can provide. You are powerful enough to do things for us. And all of a sudden, I heard in my spirit, he says, clean the fridge. I will fill it up. I was so surprised. So I said, clean the fridge and you will fill up, Lord. And I said, yes. So I went to the fridge and opened it up. And I said to myself and laugh. Oh, well, I said, it needs cleaning in a way. So I cleaned it up. And after cleaning it up, I forgot all about it. And that was early in the morning. It was about 11 o'clock. And in the afternoon, there was a knock on the door. A friend of ours came with a lot of groceries everything complete meat vegetables cereals everything and he came to the door and i was in awe so i thanked my friend and i knew that the lord had made his promise he filled the fridge it is in the, only in obedience that the Lord will act. If he tells you, you have to obey without any question. And that's what happened to me. And that's the thing that I cannot forget. And there are so many things in my life that the Lord had done and I believe in him. I believe in all that he does for me. In all that he does for you too. You will get comfort from him. He will provide everything for you. And he will do everything for you. As long as you put your faith. And you love him. And you talk to him. Talk to him like I am talking to you right now. He is always there. He's always present. Look at it. He gave us the air to breathe. He gives us the sun to shine on us. The sun is shining on good people and even not good people. Everyone is, can see the sun and the sun shines to everyone. God loves us all. He died on the cross for us all. And now he's promising. That when he opens your graves, his spirit will come in. I can tell you. Because you are my brothers and sisters in Christ, in God. 
it is so awesome to be with God, to talk to God, to love God, to believe in Him. He is the only power that can help us in every way of our life. And again, we go to the 